Today I'm out in the desert right on the border of California, Arizona, and Mexico, and I am doing a tour of this amazing step van back here that Greg owns, and I just ran into him a couple of days ago. He has an amazing build inside. Let's roll the intro and get into it. My name is Greg White. This is my 2004 Freightliner MT45. It's the smallest uh, step van that Freightliner makes, and in general of step vans, it's one of the smallest. And I got it specifically for its size. Just like everybody else, I wanted the, uh, a vehicle that had an enormous interior and then a tiny exterior so that you can park it anywhere. And of course, everything's a compromise. And this was the compromise that met my expectations as far as what I'm willing to compromise on and what I'm not willing to compromise on. Just before the pandemic, it was becoming obvious that I was going to run out of work. And then the pandemic hit, and it was certain that I was going to run out of work. And uh, I had been working for myself for the last 13 years of my career, and I decided I really didn't want to work for somebody else. And maybe the odds of even getting a job are going to be really small because of that. So I decided, let's make a change. Let's start Chapter 4. And that's where the logo comes from in Chapter 4 Travels. I'm starting the next chapter in my life, which is an early retirement. I'll see where it takes me. I have no idea how long it'll last. I have no expectations on how long it'll last. It's just a grand adventure that I thought I had a great opportunity to take. Well, the, the logo itself is something that I just got online. It was a standard uh, print, and you just had to edit the, the words that you want to have on it. The way it turned out, the four in it was tiny and it turned out terrible. So I just modified it and to make it look like this. Well, I did the renovation in Kentucky and I got all the interior done and then ran out of uh, warm enough days to paint. So you can see I painted uh, the top strip so that the solar panel clamps, I wouldn't have to paint around those afterward. Uh, that's the color that we'll be using as sort of a retro 50s camper look with a band of that uh, robin's egg blue going across here and then a, a white accent and it'll be white up in here. Uh, the solar panels are three 400 watt residential solar panels. They're very large, but you can see the edge of them and they fit across the width of the van very well. And they were very inexpensive because the installer buys them by the pallet and they were less than 50 cents a watt. And uh, they charge up my battery really, really quickly. So my step band, like most of them, came with a roll-up door, and they're just terrible. And so I replaced it like a lot of people uh, do, and I did that with a big awning door that opens out. We'll see that in a minute. Uh, this corresponds with an air conditioner, which I did not intend to put an air conditioner in, but I had to finish this project in Kentucky in August and September. And without an air conditioner in Kentucky, you die. This matches up with my cooking exhaust. Uh, it also doubles as my whole van exhaust. This van came with the fiberglass roof, which is unfortunate, and I'm working around it, but I didn't want to cut a big hole for a roof fan in that fiberglass. So I just let this fan act as both. There's a a uh, louver in the driver's footwell where air comes in and then it comes out of this fan so it goes across the entire length of the van bringing in fresh air. So here's with the door open. It kind of gives you a nice shaded spot to stand when you're uh, trying to get something out of the back. Uh, this is a garage space like so many others and it holds all the same things that everybody else's garages hold but it was really really important to me because one of the prime goals of this whole truck is to have a nice, open, bright interior space. And to do that meant I need to get all of my storage to the back. And that's why this is packed top to bottom with storage. Just on the other side of this wall is my kitchen. Very simple kitchen, just goes edge to edge. This is the standard storage you've seen everywhere else. Um, this wall divides the kitchen area, which is on just on the other side of this wall, to the garage. In fact, I'm stealing the space underneath the kitchen countertop for the folding electric bike. It slides right in here, and in fact, I have a little electric winch that helps me pick it up because they're really heavy and awkward. So I'm stealing that space and uh, then filling this up with, a st with storage everywhere. That was really important to get as much storage to the back of the van 
so that the front can be in as open as I can make it. That was the main goal throughout the whole design was making that front area nice and open. So we have the basics. There's a propane tank here, a diesel heater here that ducts through and then through the toe space of the kitchen countertop ladders and here's the AC and then this is sort of the duct for the ventilation fan for the cooking fan and then everything else is typical garage stuff. So this van has a single rear wheel per side. That really helps on the interior because the fender wells are half the size or half the width anyway. And I studied them pretty closely and I could never figure out why the fender well and you can see the rivets that attached it were so enormous and consequently taking up a whole lot of space inside my van. And I looked at it and I checked the suspension and there was no physical way for the tire to move that far in this fender well. It can't be done. So I cut the whole fender well off and resized it. And you can see these would, are the sort of the same fasteners as these. And that's how much I was able to shrink those fender wells inside the van. It made a huge difference on planning of the inside. On my step van, I never go in and out through the driver's side door. I always go in through the passenger door. And so there's sort of some open hollow stairs on this side that I wanted to make use of for storage. So this space holds two of these baskets very nicely. This had a step that cut way back and it wouldn't hold anything. So I took one of the shelves that was in the van when I bought it and I cut it down to fit so that I could use this space for storage. Well, now that I've bored you with the outside, let's go inside. It's a lot more fun in there. As I mentioned, the main goal of this project was to have this nice open space. All the storage from the garage and in the kitchen, all back here so that this can be open. I wanted to be able to have blank wall space where I could have sculptures. My dad did this sculpture and this one. And this photograph is from my brother Richard. That's what I wanted to be able to have in this space. So this is my big desk area. This is a really important piece of the, of the overall build. If I'm going to be inside, I'm going to be here. And so I have a, a fairly large screen television and a nice sound system. Um, all my electronics are below the desk up against the back wall. And one of the things I did is I recognized that technology is going to change over time and I need to access switches and, and lights and all that kind of stuff. So I put them on a little hinge so I could get to the wiring. And then there's a chase here and in the wall where all the wires come up and then this is all removable. And then I have duct work or, or conduit that goes to each end of the van so that as things change over time, I can pull the wires out and then pull in new wires. This is also where I tie, go through the ceiling uh, for the solar panels. But this is a really important space for me. And this is the kitchen area. Very simple, just edge to edge, but it's probably one of the most important parts of the whole van. I like to cook, mostly because I like to eat. And I've always wanted a stainless steel countertop and this is my opportunity to do it. This is a commercial kitchen uh, prep table that I butchered up to finally fit in this location. And I have all the basics, but I can cook almost anything in here. Two burner stove. I have enough countertop space for my coffee maker to sit out. A little microwave that looks like a TV set. Um, a refrigerator, freezer, and running water. Um, the storage, I had hoped to not have to build this. But I found that um, store-bought wall cabinets are just terribly inefficient with storage. And if I was to get all the things back here that I wanted to, they were not going to work out. And so I found that these baskets, which you can take out and sit down and get to everything in them, are just a hundred times more efficient than regular wall cabinets. They're all held in with bungee cords like this while I travel. And I store all those right down here. So when I go to travel, I just put out a bungee cord. I've got a whole little stack of them. And that, that keeps everything in. And this is where the electric bike is behind that panel. Um, I was able to squeeze in just enough to get a little drawer in above it. And so my water system is really simple. I have three six gallon water totes and then one six gallon uh, gray tank. And between them is the classic folding toilet seat. As everybody was wanting to know, where's my bathroom? Well, there it is. And then shower wise, I have an outdoor shower setup. 
but it has yet to be warm enough for me to be able to use it. It would be a really chilly shower. So I've been using truck stop showers and there's a laundromat in town that also has a shower. I like those because you can get both things done at the same time. So this is the exhaust fan that I was talking about. It's on a uh, speed control here. I think you might hear the fan. And then here's the air conditioner here. So this works really well. It's drawing air all the way across the, the van and I'm sleeping on a very simple Murphy bed so it is coming straight across me all night long. Most people like a fixed bed and I like a fixed bed too, but it would take up so much real estate in this van, I'd need a van six feet longer for it to work. So I opted to put in a Murphy bed. It's a very simple bed. There's no mechanism. It just sits on the floor. So this is my wall of coat hooks. I love coat hooks. You can hang up backpacks and hats and back scratchers and fly swatters and even coats. They're just the most convenient thing for me. You know, in a way they kind of look cluttered, but my brain just sees efficiency and, and just easy grabbing what you need. And then below the coats is my bed. They sit in this little alcove and it's just a simple Murphy bed. There's no mechanism. It just falls onto the floor. And now all my bed clothes uh, live on the driver's seat when I'm parked. And then I just move them out of the way as I'm driving. Um, I like the setup. If I would love to have a fixed bed, but if I did, it would take up so much real estate that I would need a van five, six feet longer. And then that went against my desire of having the smallest vehicle to do what I want it to do. So on the whole dash area, I really didn't do a whole lot of work other than clean it up. Uh, I've been trying to do a little bit of work uh, as I go, but just to kind of make it fun, I've got a little hula girl and the way this truck drives, she gets a workout every time I drive. And then my sister gave me this before I left. Let's see if I can make it work. It's a giggle pill. And that's so that when you're feeling down and you think things aren't going your way, you need a giggle pill. Well, I hope you enjoyed that tour of Greg's rig here. I think it's absolutely phenomenal. I owned a step van myself for over four years. I love seeing unique layouts, new things being brought to the table. The computer desk in here is fabulous with the big screen set up. And he has uh, amazing speakers, which I did not show in this tour. Uh, Murphy bed is a great way to uh, hide space. Originally in my design, I wanted to do that. I never pulled it off. So it's really great to see uh, what Greg did there. And I'm really inspired by what you see behind me with his kitchen setup with these uh, shelves. It's sort of a variation of what I did in my step van with the shelves, but I had to walk past through things. So he has a very elegant kitchen here and I love that. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Savor the moment, and I'll see you in a future video tour.